for a child, a hospital can be a pretty scary place. Which is why Sydney Peel doesn't push a gurney down the hallways of Cook Children's Hospital. Instead, she pushes a cart full of brushes and glitter. So there's glitter in there. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Sydney is the resident artist at the hospital. Yes. Okay. Every type of paintbrush, painter's tape, it's got all the colors, sketchbook, funny paintbrushes. Let's see. And then the classics. We've got markers, tempera paints. Oh, I just squirted some. Pushing that cart from room to room. Hi. Hey. Oh, hello. Yes. Got your paint shirt on. Visiting patients like Cadence Mixon. <gasps> yes. Yay, Cadence. When you're being treated for a heart condition and leukemia at the same time. No paint with your toes, yeah. too? A few minutes wallowing in finger paint can be the best part of your day. It brings a light to us. It makes Cadence happy, which she's full of joy all the time anyways. And so it just, it it makes us happy when we see Sydney. Rainbow crayon? Do you want to see it in action? And Sydney should know how important okay. those moments can be. Oh, it broke. Before she was an art student at TCU, she was a patient here at Cook Children's. A rare disease called hereditary angioedema, it took years to diagnose and treat. It can be extremely painful and it can also be life-threatening. Art is what helped her pass the time. Good job, yay on the most Yay. difficult hospital days. You like it? It was something I turned to and gave me hope and gave me something to do and a distraction. I think it's great that I get to do that with kids now. Her art and the work of hospital patients decorates the hallways here. And during this past February, Rare Disease Month in the U.S., Sydney's art was featured in Times Square in New York City to bring attention awesome. to rare diseases just like hers. It feels unreal. <laughs> it's one of those things I was like, I don't even think that was something I had dreamed of because it felt too big. <laughs> I could put them right here. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. But what the patients yeah, here yeah. will tell you is also big. So like that. Is yes, the impact perfect. of an artist and a survivor. Just like polka dot. Mm -hmm. We just need two more colors and we're finished. I feel like Everything in my life like led to ending up here. Oh, <laughs> all clean. Whether meeting patients face to face or on the hospital's TV channel. Oh, see, there's the ukulele show. Where she spreads her magic too. Today we are going to draw an octopus. That'll be really fun. It's just a very magical place. It's really special to be a little part of that magic. How are we feeling? Yeah, excited. She loves it. And a mom watching her daughter smile knows that magic <laughs> can be its own good medicine. I think it is. It is, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, it is. Googly eyes. You can turn an IV pole into a monster. Glitter paint, because I don't know a kid that doesn't like glitter. This is your first instrument. The kids come in and out, and they may be here a little bit, they may be here a long time, but they leave, and their family leaves. And you're a little speck in their life. You may be like one or two specks, or you may be kind of a lot of specks if they're here a long time, but you also can be a little bit of glitter. And that's exactly the shining example Sydney and her rolling cart full of glitter <laughs> intend to be. Put her on a stage. At Cook Children's Hospital in Fort Worth. Was that a bye? <laughs> I'm Kevin Reese. Yeah.